Bubble, bubble. Okay, we live. Hello. Okay. Uh, welcome back. So, uh, last time we brain. Uh, last time we left off, uh, the party was well attacked by uh a particular group of interest that they. May or may not have let loose on the mountain that was that combated them all the way out here, far away from the mountains. So uh, Look, we can neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> um, it's on a need to know basis. And uh, frankly, they were quite concerned about yeah. that. So, so, <laughs> so uh, their priorities, while they did remain the same, of trying to get Kalak back to the Feywild as soon as possible, uh, they their motive has shifted slightly as Kalak offered that he may be able to uh, get some help from his people, military-wise, uh, to possibly help our shit. protect against uh, whatever shit is going on in their world. Uh... And uh, on a, on another note, uh, this session we have another player, uh, uh, small skeptic gator right there. Uh, <laughs> he's in he's in Varna. <laughs> sessions recap. He's also in Varna. He, he is in Varna. Huh? Yeah, can you do last session's recap? <laughs> can he do it? Oh my god, I got it. Okay, thanks, Let's man. see. Have you been keeping up with our lore, Matthew? Uh, Yo, Matthew, Matthew, just repost the gift I sent you. That's all you need. Oh, Matthew, I get to put, I can plug your Twitch in, yeah. in my, my description yeah, that nobody will read. I'll send, I'll send oh, it yeah. to you. I'll send it to you again. <laughs> because uh, wait, wait, of that, because, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. because it's been a long time since the last time we did this, and because we have a new player, uh, I think that oh. the session, uh, as you all... Uh, sort of arrive back in Kurt, uh, the port city that you all were headed towards that is rumored to have a connection to the Feywild. Uh, I'd like to have each each of you sort of give a a give a re description of the description of our characters. Yep. Oh, okay. I thought you were else. And, oh, we get to give new descriptions of our characters for those of us who yeah. have who don't have a new character, <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> Damn. 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 I had to. Uh, anyway. The Tyler okay. does get a bit quirky at night. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to essentially start. I'm just going to go in the order that it shows up for me on roll 20. Uh, starting with Aaron. Okay, uh, Aaron is a, uh, he's a human man, uh, with a, uh, blue cloak over some modest clothes. Uh, he wears a pair of glasses and he has a very gaunt face, uh, with very, uh, with eyes that simultaneously uh, show his age, but also uh, have a lot of knowledge to go with it. Okay, uh, next, uh, Faulkner. What does Faulkner look like? Well, he's only the newest character description, but <laughs> Faulkner is a a, a white half elf male with um, like shoulder length blonde hair, uh, blue eyes, wearing pretty much every pretty much everything he's wearing is blue. He's got a red bandana. Uh, he has a ring on his left hand with a green gem, if I remember correctly, in it, and he has a. A sword on his on his left hip and a book on his right hip, and that's about it. Uh, Tadril. Okay, 
Um, despite being an Asmar, Tadril appears to rem resemble a very tall human man, like a little over six and a half feet tall, with these sort of white irises in his eyes, and hair that goes past his shoulders, and standard adventurer's garb with a long sword at his hip and a shield across his back. And a falconer's glove on his right hand. Uh, next up, Pico. Um, well, I mean, yes, so Vico is a, he, he's an Asimar. Um, he is about 5'10", I think I said. I think he's like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, five, I don't exactly remember. I remember he's like an inch taller than Veldrin was, and Veldrin was an inch taller than Nero was. Um... <laughs> So, so five ten because Belgium was five nine because zero is five eight. So then I'm five ten. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he's he's a he's a five ten Asimar. He's got like bone white hair, like slicked back. Um, recently, because he hasn't had a lot of time to shave, he's started growing a little bit of like grayish stubble across his face. Um, he's got red eyes. A very now a very large scar that goes from about here on his forehead down his right eye down to about the middle of his cheek. Um, he wears just a very dark, dark black um, dress shirt that's accentuated with red that's kind of open that reveals like a breastplate, and he's wearing uh, these really drippy boots. Uh, and he carries around a katana because he's an anime swordsman. <laughs> if I may just say, he looks That's like he looks like Virgil from DMC. If you don't know what Virgil from DMC <laughs> looks like, go look oh up Virgil God. from DMC. Literally, we're doing a callback, baby. Episode yeah. forty-one. <laughs> totally so Daniel, forty. Uh, I showed one of my friends here the portrait I made for, oh, for Rico. Oh, the, the black and white one. <laughs> Yeah, and he was like, yo, it's that dude from DMC. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Mission accomplished, time to go home. Vico, Vico from now on, in character as well, shall be referred to the dude from DM, the dude from DMC. <laughs> okay. Close enough. Um, next is, you know, to round up the, the Asimar trio. Uh, Nero is a female, um, semi-tall, 5'8", for a female. Um, she has strawberry blonde hair, very, um, kind of r ruby red eyes. Um, she's wearing this kind of silver armor, uh, uh, full plated armor set that has some moss growing on it. And... Uh, occasionally she will summon this really big, um, two-handed, uh, I believe it's a axe. Uh, great axe, out of flames. And last one is Spirit. Um, Spirit is a male dragonborn, formerly 5'9", now 5'11". Uh, reasons. Um, <laughs> uh, he's um, he's strange. He's he's a uh, he's gray, unlike he, see, he's he's gray unlike the other chromatic dragonborn. Uh, he looks fairly well, not fairly, but he looks kind of gaunt and malnourished, uh, and his eyes are still red, right? Are they yeah. Red? Okay. Yeah, still red. And he wears he wears something like um, he wears like a brown cloak, like you see like a monk wearing or something, and no hat. Okay. So now that that is out of the way, uh, you all after that last sort of encounter, I believe it's been a week. Uh, I could count it up, but it's been around a week uh, to travel the rest of the way to Kurt. Uh, you all make your way into the sort of bustling, crowded city. The air is very humid. It is the onset of spring, so 
Uh, the weather is quite nice. Uh, what do y'all do? Well, there's no point in uh, hanging around much. We are, we are on a time limit. I think we should just head straight to the forest. Yep, that would make the most sense. <laughs> what about it? We should also probably Makes warn sense. the city's guard too, unless the sentries have already started to take note. Well, let's do that first, then. Mm. And bring um, Kalok back to his home plane. Okay. Sounds like a plan. But that's what we do, I think. Alright. So, you all... Uh, real quick, I, I didn't realize I forgot I had my mic up and I forgot it mutes me. Um... I'm, I'm going to catch up with you all after that. I'll meet you by the front gates. Michael, I want to go off to a magic shop. I want to go buy some stuff so I can summon my familiar again. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Just spend the money. Yeah. I guess I just want to let you know about it. Cool. Okay. So, the rest of you... <laughs> y'all are headed towards the forest at the southern end of the city. Uh, this... I know that on this map it is west, but this map is rotated, and I didn't put a thing. Rotate. But, uh... While we're walking, I'm gonna... Vico's gonna, like, tear a page. Uh, well, not, not yet, he's not gonna tear a page. Uh, he's gonna, like, wa he's gonna be walking beside Aaron. Or are we riding the cart there? Uh, I think we would put our cart we, up. We park in, we park like in the wagon, or...? I think so. Um... We're gonna have to park it eventually. So yeah, might as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up next that, to that might, Aaron. That might, that might just... Um, Aaron. Um, so I know that back in that weird temple <laughs> dungeon thing, we were here. We were in here in Code. We had to sacrifice a few things, and you sacrificed your book. Have you made any? Are you trying to recreate that book? Uh, yes, I was, uh, I, I was, uh, chipping away at it. Michael, how much have I, have I recovered at this point? Um, well, you literally don't sleep, so I'd say you're probably about halfway at this point. Um, Maybe uh, more. Uh, what point would that be? Like, uh... Like, where in the, where in the Peaceful Heart lore would that be? Yeah. <laughs> That's, oh my god, putting like a half leg point on all this shit. Can you just, uh, can you just say it happens when the gif happened? When the what happened? The gif happened. Look in, look in D&D oh campaign. Oh my god. When the gif happened. Okay. Dude. So at the oh, end of yeah, the tournament arc. Dude, the class. Yeah, well, Matthew, yeah, how did you get a moment. hold of that gif? Dang. Oh my god. Ben, like ben sent it to him just now, like Classic. literally like five minutes ago. Or like I, sent it to him, ago. I sent it to him like four hours ago. To go. Ben, I'm like, this is I'm, pivotal I'm, lore. You need this to know is, it. It's very pivotal lore, Matthew. Um, no, so Vico's no, gonna like. the most important of pitiful, pi uh, pivotal lore with Nero and Bianca. That's the most oh important. God, lore. No. Well, 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 that that comes second to to Nero and Bruce's date. Nero and Bruce's oh date comes. God. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> I've been rewatching the sessions. I've been rewatching this. I don't care. It's canon. Bruce they were gonna go on a date. Anyway, Bruce is dead. So. He's dead now. He's dead now. Uh, we'll just cast a new right restoration on him or something. I mean, sorry, resurrection. We're gonna. We'll just uh, resurrect him. Vico's gonna open up his his notebook. He's gonna rip out a page. He's gonna hand it to Aaron. Well, I figured since this time around, um, I've had a lot more of a clear headspace. Um, I figured maybe. These are some names for our group that you could use um, oh, instead of just like the, the, the calling seven. us the group or, or whatever you would say. And I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the list of, of what I've written here. Oh my god! Oh god! It's cringe. I cringe already. <laughs> it's really not. Yo, team name final. It's Inside That's Aaron is like, I think the group is perfectly descriptive, but uh... Of course he does, he's a fucking he starving he artist. Out loud. 
Well, he's a starving he's professor. A starving artist. Starving professor. <laughs> That's why I corrected myself. I said, oh, he's a starving professor. Uh... A starving artist. <laughs> Just imagining Aaron as a starving artist. <laughs> we'll do a commission. Some, some, are, some are better than others, obviously. I just got on a random name generator and I was like, oh, these are some cool ones. Wait, so my name is Static Demon. Static Demon. Static Demon. Static Demon. Ah! Okay. Is that better? Uh, nope. No, it, no, it came back like right after you. Came back. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh man, this stream must be really nice. Is the you're static demon like, gone? Um, you're like quelling it for like a few moments, like it, it's like gone for now. Wait, it's, it's, gone now. now. Hey, it's gone now, sorry. It's gone now. You gone quelled now. it. You defeated the static demon, Dan. He moves the mic away and it comes back. Yeah. That's what it does. It waits. And the demon waits in the corner. It waits in the corner, oh, waiting for me to leave it alone. Anyways. Okay, so you all make your way towards the up next get narrow real quick. Okay. Run. <laughs> Michael, we're never <laughs> returning him. I hope you know this. <laughs> huh? Don't forget what I said to you, Narrow. Last time I was in this city, while well, none of you encountered it, there I still did encounter a being that was able to take on the face of people around us. Right, yes. Um uh, well we just have to be careful. Pretty sure a lot of places are infiltrated by the uh, by the gripper hunting, so we should keep an eye out. But as of right now, they're not really our concern. Yeah. Need to uh, quickly tell the guards about the incoming threat, and then quickly go to at least get Kalak back to the Feywild. I already owe Mike. Be For now, I'll just keep as, Maybe if I spread it as much of an eye on your surroundings as possible. Okay. That's all she says? Well, That's Pablo, are you keeping an eye on your surroundings? Yes. No. Be <laughs> no. Uh, no. Uh, well, you turned me into a cube. <laughs> turn me into a pickle. Turn funny yourself shit into a pickle. Of, <laughs> funny shit I ever seen. I've never seen. Stop. Stop yeah, yeah, right, with your pickles. No, turn yourself into a pickle. Stop Eat saying dumbass things. You're, You're not, not even making sense. any sense. Who are you? I am from <laughs> ancient Greece. Seventeen, Michael. Seventeen. Yes. Do not see anything out of the ordinary as you are sort of making your way through this city. Uh, last time you were here, there was that priest, or so he called himself, uh, that sort of skied uh, you into uh, into Volindra's dungeon. But uh, no one appears to be following you. Nothing that you can pick up on. Okay, this is beautiful. All right. So, you make your way southward. So, as you all make your way down, everything, this seems to be just a beautiful, peaceful day. Uh, a peaceful heart, one might say. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Rogue credit. Ah! He said it. Drop b -b -b he said it. One of these days, like y'all are gonna name drop, and Michael's just gonna die. Good. Yeah. I'm just gonna. That is my ultimate goal in life. life. Don't, don't do that. Can you do that later? Crumple like later. Paper. Later. I'm trying to find the best place for my fucking. Like gear. next semester later. Okay, next semester. You all eventually make your way down towards the forest. Uh, the forest, at least today, is uh, open for the public. It is. I don't know if I. <laughs> I don't know if I. Is it I, a national it, park? Or like. Yeah. It, it basically is a is like a. It's similar to like a national park. However, it's not like carved out with things in it or anything. It's left completely untouched. It is just a forest. A nature reserve. It, yeah. 
Precisely. And I will burn it to the ground. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pog. <laughs> Cast fireball center on itself. <laughs> <laughs> Kalak walks in the forest and just a bunch of him start appearing. Ah, my people. <laughs> they start doing like a little mantis dance, just like <laughs> this forest. The culture is, is so beautiful. <laughs> this one of them is the entirety of the Feywild. This one little forest. <laughs> one, of, one of them. One the Feywild is just the, the name of a national park. It's not another plane. It's just the name of a national park. It's a national park. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you want to make that a D and D campaign? You all, you, all have, you all have made it to the forest. That last time y'all were here, y'all sort of, based off of just common knowledge, knew okay, this forest is rumored to have some form of connection to the Feywild. This this was your your goal. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna inform Kalak gonna of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna be like Kalak, <laughs> Kalak. We believe that this is the place that can take you home. Fuck. Wait, you're rolling, Michael. Oh, <laughs> Something for Kalak. Uh, Kalak doesn't understand you. <laughs> Kalak has become stupid. Kalak uh, has gained an extra chromosome in the last time he's you've seen him. Jesus Christ! That's a joke. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't know. He's from the Fey. <laughs> oh my God. They do that. Oh no! Damn. I didn't. I didn't change they the text. Do that. I didn't change I the text on him. He doesn't eat Papiko's face. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, Yikes. I am unsure of how to get back, but if you believe this is the place, then I suppose I should let you take the lead. Uh, um, uh, um, um. Miko, oh, uh, if I may, I yes, think I might have a solution to this. Solution to what? Um, I don't know. Well, I can think I might be able to help us find what we're looking for. I'm trying to find the Fey, right? Does does Kalak know? I, I I've just informed him. Yes. Mm. I'm gonna cast detect evil and good. Okay, what exactly does does that do again? Okay, basically I can detect any and all extra planar shit. Uh, like I can detect... Yeah, so what is the, the range on it? Uh, I think it's like 30 feet around me. Hold on. Alright, I'm using it to detect Michael's cock. I'm not picking up anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's, well, no, it's not Faye, it's but... Th it's 30 feet range and you're uh, well over 30 feet. Yeah. Fair, fair point. Yeah, you got a point, Dave. You got a bet. Minutes. Fuck. I'm going crazy. It lasts for 10 minutes, and it's a 30-foot range. So, when you cast it, initially, uh... Let's... Oh, something I forgot to mention to it. He returned. Uh, but... Return. So, you cast that. Uh, you still have that same sense around spirit of the, like... Whatever that undead is that is just around him, but not here. Uh, Kalak obviously is Fey. Uh, the whole place seems to be like vaguely like tinted Fey, if that's if that's like the best way I can describe it. But uh, as for the literal like direction of like as as for a literal way to get out, you're not sure. The it's like the whole place is sort of like on the verge. If that makes any sense. Okay. I have about ten minutes to look around. I'm gonna see if I can find anything. Alright. Okay. Uh like roll like an investigation or like yeah, a person. Give me a survival check. A survival check? Hold on, let me see. Very if special indeed, Michael. Let's... Not one of my proficiencies, but we should be good. Well, while he's rolling that, does anyone have a uh, 290 gold they're willing to give away? What the fuck? Let's find I mean, out! I, okay. I mean... I have 71 gold! A two? I do. Three. A 12? 
12. It's really hard to say. Uh, so as you're looking around, you, you begin sort of wandering through the forest. You start to pick up on a vague, like, center point. It's extremely vague, though, and you can't quite pin it down. But somewhere to relative to you, it would be more west-ish. But that's as far as you're able to, like, gauge it. Okay. Uh, so, like, my like my spell has ended. Yeah, by the time your spell is ended, you have not found it, although you do have, like, a... Uh, you've, you've figured out what half of the forest it's on. What, whatever it is that is the sort of source of the, uh... Sorceress? Of the taint. Of the taint. The, the void woken. We go over there, there's just void woken. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, get this. Kurt is just there. fortunate. I'm gonna cast it again. Okay. <laughs> how how long does it take again. to cast this? It takes one action and it lasts ten minutes. Okay. I didn't know if you were like ritually casting it because I'm just like we're just standing here for like fucking god knows how long. <laughs> Can you just In total, it would be about so, like, so, like, so like what has happened right now is essentially from y'all's perspective. Uh, Tadril said, "I'm gonna go look around." I have an idea, and he like, what does it what does it look like when he when he casts detect evil and good? <laughs> like see like Adriel's eyes just go from their standard. They got kind of like whitish irises, but you just see his eyes just completely taken over. No pupils, just complete white and lightly glowing. Yeah. So he does that, and then he says, "I'm gonna go look around," which you've seen that before, so you know like what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, and he just goes, walks off into the forest, and he's been wandering around for like 10 minutes in there, he hasn't come back. I it's just a forest. I'm gonna lean over to Kalak and I'm, I'm gonna tell him, Oh, this, uh, I hope you weren't planning on getting home in the next gods know how long. Uh, he's gonna be at this for a while. It's three weeks to get here, I'm sure you can wait <laughs> ten minutes. It has been ten minutes. Yeah, it, yeah. It... <laughs> yeah, ten minutes of us just standing there. Yeah. That's boring. I, Vito I has the attention span standing. of a goldfish, <laughs> much like me. Them. I thought I had something here I could use, but I don't see anything. Damn. I send cinnamon. <laughs> My. What's the matter, Ben? I'm crying right now. I got an upsetting message. Uh, My uh, return is in your hands. If, uh, <laughs> wait for your cue. Uh, so, Tadril, you are you're you're vibing out in the forest. So you're casting it again, and what are you doing? I'm I'm just gonna like follow that lead, and I'm gonna also send Cinnamon back to Vico. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh. So, give me another survival check with advantage this time. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> what is it? That's oh my seven. god, Ben! <laughs> I'm so angry! <laughs> what message what are you receiving? Sorry. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, Tyler. we were just discussing spirits for a sec. Oh. Spirits for a sec! <laughs> Oh, is it is it on is it on 420? I mean, like that's how I imagined it. Hey, like... <laughs> it's Hitler's birthday. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh. Anyway. So, what did you anyway. get for your? Oh. Seven. <laughs> All right. You're still not able to pin it down, unfortunately. But you have you have. <sighs> <laughs> You've narrowed it down further, but the image, Tyler. you still haven't like found it's, it's it. Amazing. Maybe if you all search as a group, uh, that's ridiculous. Cinnamon is supposed to take. He gave us no that. indication of where he yeah. was going. Yeah, so no. like, like, you and like she like tries to get you to follow okay. him. Yeah, so y'all are waiting there. Cinnamon comes comes galloping out of the forest. <laughs> So, yeah, that's from, from your perspective. Y'all have been sitting there for like 15 minutes now. 
after after Todd Drill just walked off into the forest, and Cinnamon comes running out of the forest. Back to you. That's not a good sign. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like, crouch down. I'm gonna like pet the dog. Just whose master's a dumbass? That's right. Whose master's a dumbass? <laughs> You know yeah, he's, he's actually he has a, he has an he he's actually more intelligent than other mouths. Oh no! Still. <laughs> no, it completely understands. Yeah, he does. Well, he barks at you and is like trying to get you to follow him. Uh, What's the matter, little lassie? Tadrio fell down the well again. <laughs> yeah, so he's just like barking at you and running like towards the forest and then back again. Bark. Run back, bark. I think bark, it wants us bark, to follow bark. it. That's <laughs> likely. All right. Might as well. Nothing. Nothing to lose. Come along now, Scooby. Shop. Come along now, Scooby gang. <laughs> Let's go investigate <laughs> oh, this <laughs> shit. Oh, Faulkner, you're back from the magic shop. Yep. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I walked all the way the forest by myself. I'd say by the by this time you probably have caught up with them. It doesn't take that long to go buy herbs. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Wait, you went and bought 11 herbs and spices? <laughs> Actually, 50 of them. But... 50 herbs and spices? <laughs> 50 herbs and spices. Oh! <laughs> passing the kernel. Uh, Alright. <laughs> so, y'all follow Cinnamon, and Cinnamon, I'm assuming, is going to lead them to Tondrail. Yes. <laughs> Cinnamon actually just leads us in the completely wrong direction. Yeah, leads us into a, a spike trap, you know? <laughs> this is Gabo's revenge! He's, he's come I'm back for us all! I was planning this for weeks, by the way. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Connection terminated. Sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth, if you even remember that name. Me and Michael. Hmm? That's what happened during the little session between me and Michael, like, to get oh, back no. before I set up a bunch of traps in the forest. But, yeah, that was the 3 a.m. session that David said, to, what, like, wasn't happening. What? <laughs> Damn, if only, if only I could yeah, change you should have shown up. Just, it was a oh. great session. I loved it. Especially the fact that I couldn't sleep. Ha <laughs> <laughs> kill me. All right. If only I could change my prepared list of spells, this might actually be easier. Imagine having a prepared list of spells. Imagine having spells other than Misty Step. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You have like four uses of, and then you have you can't use it again. Don't worry, soon I won't be able to use it at all because my bonus action will be taken up entirely by Echo Knight. Oh no! Oh my God! All right, so <laughs> anyway. So, I mean, Echo Knight is basically just another boat, a misty step, because you can trade places with it. Yeah. So, you all meet up in the forest with Tadriel. Tadriel is kind of just in the middle of the forest, like in the middle of fuck off nowhere in the forest. <laughs> kind of zoned out for a moment there, thought you were following me. This doesn't look like a rift in the space-time continuum, this kind of just looks like a forest. No. This looks like the half of the forest where the rift is. Ah! Look, look, I uh, just, you got, you got to look with, like, different eyes. And I cast the spell again. <laughs> that is... Okay. Well, the last time you saw me with different eyes, you did realize I tried to kill Aaron, right? Good. Well, you didn't. <laughs> That's just that what he's telling you to bring up Vazaz. <laughs> you need Vazaz. And we are still friends you today. Need Vazaz is just. Vazaz today. just looks around and he's like, yep, can't see fuck all anything, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all are still. And you all are still friends today. Let's go. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Into the woods. Lead on. Alright. Give me another survival roll. Once again, with advantage. Can I roll 3d20s? <laughs> well, at this point, you have you have reduced it to a quarter of a forest, so you would technically have triple advantage, so 2d20s plus 5. <laughs> Let's do this. So triple advantage, or double advantage, that's the word. Jesus do this. Oh, god. oh, oh my god. Oh my god! god. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Roll 20's dice are plus failing you now, Austin! Wait, wait, wait. 11, 11 yeah, yeah. plus your survival number, too. Which doesn't survival. have well, my, survival. I don't have the zero have one. Where I, I have zero survival. Ah, uh, that's why. Okay. Got so, it. I wasn't paying attention to the roll. Point, at, at this point, 
it is such a small area that you have like narrowed it down to that you're able to make your way to it eventually. Is it in a fucking uh, bush? Is it in a tree? Like what? Holy oh, shit! It was up Fika's asshole this entire time. Oh my god! Uh, Fika's just so goat seeing. Kalak just has to crawl in. Uh, uh, yeah, I just uh, 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 disconnect, yeah. Daniel. No! <laughs> Those guns. Okay. So, seven days. You all have seven days. Okay. So everybody, give me a perception roll. Perception. Perception <laughs> roll. Okay. Michael, I, I didn't realize. I was like, what? <laughs> we're <laughs> lying to Kalak. We're just gonna gaslight Kalak. Well, this has never it. been the I place we were taking you home. Nah, I didn't find shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, didn't find, find, I that one, baby. Find my own fucking ass. I couldn't even find my own ass. Dude, I literally. I can't even, like, see the material realm anymore. I rolled a nat one. I just, I go blind, just <laughs> seething with rage. Oh my god. If only I had seen visibility. I mean, I oh might my be able god. to use that. Oh my god, no one's 10 yet. I'm no, the highest one so far. Oh shit, Aaron. 14, okay. It's the no, dice no, no, curse. Isn't Tadra above 10 for this? Tadra's got a 12 for this, right? So I two have above 10. Tadra's Aaron has a 14. So... Y'all are wandering around, uh, following Todril, who doesn't seem to even know where he's going himself. Aaron, mm -hmm. at some point, you look up and you know, wait a minute. Is it? The one of the trees uh, seems to have its leaves like drying up and changing color, almost like it would fall. Mm. It is the onset of spring. Winter Guys, is not I encroaching. Think, I don't think that's supposed to be happening. <laughs> uh, huh? What? Looks like a tree. No, they're supposed to have leaves. <laughs> <laughs> do, you see, do you see the leaves color, though? Uh, maybe it didn't say that. Uh, yes. Um, Brown. It, it is a little yeah. odd this time of year. Brown. I know we've... we've uh, we, we've seen snow in the spring, but uh, this seems a bit excessive. Yeah. I mean, it's not like winter is encroaching or anything. No, it oh, really shouldn't God. be. Uh, <laughs> perhaps, perhaps we've wandered too far. Or perhaps this is a sign that we're entering the Feywild. Faulkner walks up and touches the tree. It's a tree. It's a tree. It's a tree. Yeah, nothing happens. You guys. It's a tree. It, we... Can Green. I roll something with Vico's like study of the Feywild? Can I like roll something to see if? Sure. Yeah. Roll the bitches on your dick. <laughs> roll a d6 for that. Damn we. How many bitches? <laughs> Six Vico bitches on the dick. Let's go. <laughs> Remember when no, Vico uh, did try to roll for that because he wanted to out? Was it Vico? Yeah, it was Vico, right? I think it was. Around the same time when when uh, Bruce was still part of the party uh, and he would go around fucking no, whoever he that could. Was that, was that, was that was Nero. That was Nero. That was Nero. Yeah. Yeah. Rolling for bitches on her dick. <laughs> no, there was there was one time. But there was one time when Vico got like really drunk or something and he tried to do it too. No, or no, I just no, got no, really no, drunk no, and felt really hungover the next morning. Yeah, oh, was I, was, I swear I could. Was no, no, sexual. me and Bruce were just binge oh, yeah. drinking the entire night, and the next morning, the night, the day we went out onto the sea to fight uh, Valindra, Vika was just mad hungover because it was the yeah, first time I, he had ever why. drank, and he drank, he just binge drank. I really thought there was a point where Vika too no, was just like no, trying to no, no, I was, I was sexual energy. You're I, right, like, you're right. He's Vico, like, I was at one point, like, I was like, it would be cool if Vico could get a girlfriend, but I was like, eh, at this point in time, Vico wouldn't really work with a girlfriend. I think Vico now could have a girlfriend, but if we ever uh, meet a woman NPC, that is. That so, isn't Regina. Or Bianco. Yeah, give, me, give me, like, a history roll for, uh... And Aaron, you... You're Aaron. You could also do a history roll for this if you would like. Yo. Uh, that is a 14, like, Michael. 14? Who the fuck just said I shot his dick for a hundred twenty? I sounded like Colin. Hold on, I gotta use one of my powers. Cool. 
17. 17. <laughs> Alright, so... 14 and a 17. You're not familiar with the exact reason, but you do know that this is a sign that you are getting close to wherever the sort of entrance would be. Aaron, you have a bit more specific information. Uh, the Feywild is essentially uh, a almost mirror of the uh, world you know, uh, but it is far more vibrant, far more lively. Plant life is exceedingly uh, what would the word be? Uh, overgrown, almost. Uh, Murderous. And- and because of that, the actual, like, natural world of the Feywild has far more, like, nutrients and such in the ground to keep up with that. When you are, when you get close to, when, anywhere where, like, the world sort of dip together, uh, the normal world like, sort of growth around there uh, gets much weaker and more fragile because a lot of the nutrients are being sucked into the Feywild. Hmm. Uh, So, essentially, this means that somewhere around here, you'll start seeing more of this, and you'll get more and more, and eventually you will find where you need to find. Okay, so this is a good sign. Possibly. I will I will relate that information to the party. Huh. Huh. Uh, getting close. I'll lean over to Kalak. Um we are in fact getting close. <laughs> Good. Yeah, you know, whenever you talk to Kalak, you should just say um you should just say hey bitch and then say that's just a custom that we have here. <laughs> Little, hey, what's up, little little cum slut? Sorry, it's a custom we have in our, our world. <laughs> Don't get offended. Oh, uh, please, uh, little little ho ass bitch. I I apologize. <laughs> your shoes raggedy. That's just another custom we have. You start insulting him over That's and over. That is a chore move. That is I'm not just, a- <laughs> dude. He goes, he goes just like you are not goaded with the sauce. Sorry, it's just a custom. <laughs> Quirked up white boy, <laughs> breaking it down sexual style. You're not goaded with the sauce. He, you are in fact not goaded with the sauce. Anyway, so at this point, everyone can give me a survival check. Okay. A survival? Survival? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so I'm happy. Static demon. demon. Static demon. Static demon. Ah! <laughs> Is it gone? Well, you need to kill Ben with that. Alter's not getting I any good. I apologize. had a moment. Well, I was also I was also reacting to my roll. I got a six. <laughs> my metal die is going back in jail. He spent this die has spent three weeks in dice jail. It's about to go in for fucking another round of solitary. <laughs> Hang on. That reminds me. This right here. Oh, you made a dice shot finally? No, oh, wait. I, I thought uh, I'd gone home to do so, but oh. uh, in the in my dice purgatory, uh, this one this one's never coming out of dice shot. This is the D4 that killed Valdrin. Okay. Yeah, um, that motherfucker deserves to die. And Michael, 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 you're gonna. gonna... My inspiration. Thirty You want to you want to use your inspiration on that? Yeah, I got thirty sessions ago, uh, yeah. so I can get this survival check. You know. Uh, <laughs> Michael, you're gonna you're gonna put that D4 uh, well, on like have, a shelf. You have two because everyone gets one per session. You just have the one extra. So is it like an actual inspiration or is it your inspiration? It's the card one. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, no. Michael, just, you're gonna uh, the card one is just nicer. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna put that D4 on a shelf and like you're you're gonna teach your kids about D and D and you're gonna be like, no. take this dice as an example. This is the dice that killed the player in one of my campaigns. What was his name? It's an hydraulic breast. His name was Veldrin. And he was one of the greatest warriors I ever knew. No, nobody's ever gonna remember Veldrin. Nobody, nobody's ever gonna remember Veldrin that way. It's gonna be, oh, he was that motherfucker that tried to flirt with everyone. 
Damn, he was, he was that, he, he was that gay motherfucker that wasn't actually gay. Michael, Michael, the only, Michael, the, the, the only time that that D4 is allowed out of dice jail is if one of us uses magic missile to try to kill the BBEG. Then you better roll that B D4 and it better kill the BBEG. That dude, uh, revenge for Veldrin. You have, you have two cards in roll 20, you can use your... I was joking. Head. Why did you uh, turn into Edna Mode? Edna, darling, you have two kinds of inspiration. You can use either one you want. <laughs> no games. Well, wait, where did the roll start for this? Is it is it nearest four, or is that Aaron? Or is that Aaron's twenty one? Which Aaron's twenty one start? Aaron's twenty one is the first roll for this. Okay. Yeah. No, no. Uh, narrows, narrow is four. four. Narrow four. Okay. So yeah. Spirit and Aaron are both. Uh, sort of apt enough to uh, figure this out. So, with the given context, you all look, begin looking at, like, the soil, the two of you, uh, and you do notice uh, that in one particular direction, uh, it seems that the soil is getting less and less healthy. Huh. It's further south and further west, uh, relative to where you are now. Uh, I suppose we follow this. All right. <laughs> so y'all are going to essentially follow the gradient of the soil, and eventually, you make your way to. An area, as you walk, the soil gets less and less healthy. The trees and foliage begin to get more more frequent iterations of that tree where they appear to be drying up or barely surviving, scraggly and brown. And eventually, you make your way to you find a clearing. Uh, oh. I was really hoping the trees around here would be dead, and then I was going to say a joke. I was really going to say a good joke, too. They're not quite dead, but they are struggling. Say your joke, Tyler. I'd like to hear it. I was going to say, it looks like it looks like Sarbamba just got dropped over here. Mm. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be really dead by the floor. Fozzie, <laughs> what's this next joke? What, what is it? Bring up 9-11. <laughs> Yikes. That's just not, not even a joke. That's just bring up a horrible tragedy. <laughs> Dark humor! It's dark humor! You're a horrible dark person, Fozzie. <laughs> so, you all make your way into this clearing, and the ground itself, you can see the grass beneath your feet uh, has gone from its normal bright shade of green to this sort of tan to like brownish and dead. Uh, as it all sort of coalesces into the center of this clearing where there are several bushes surrounding a large uh, sort of archway uh, that has very few patterns on it. Uh, it's mostly just a rounded archway with two large stone uh, sort of pillars at its base. Uh, and at the top there is a square sort of slot. Um, the ground inside of the archway and like just immediately around it appears to be the healthiest that you've ever seen. Uh, there are small sort of glimmering lights fading in and out of view around the air around this archway. Uh, Tadril immediately, like once you all start heading in this direction, you're like, okay, this is about the, this is probably right. You get here and you're like, wow, okay, this is like the center point. This is the this is where everything was coming from. Hmm. Cool. Well, uh, I don't know about anyone else, but uh, I would uh, I would assume this is what we've been looking for. Indeed. Yes. Um, Clark, would uh, you like to leave the way? I don't see why not. Oh god damn it! It's the. Mm, hang on, I need to. I need to be broken. Sorry, I just want to adjust the map really quickly. I did a slight dumb. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I noticed. Up. Yeah, I noticed the squares weren't all that even. Jeez. It's honestly, That's it's the most right. annoying fucking feeling. Yep, it really is, mm. dude. That's close. Wait, uh, That's why I just turn off grid and incarnate. I just turn off the grid. See that? Oh well. It looks like a shadow. Wait, there's an O on the map. Yes, Where? What? Where? <laughs> Michael, you owe the map? Where? Where? Bottom, Michael. Bottom right. Oh. oh. Bottom right? What? Oh, bottom, bottom right of the map. Candy. Oh, whoa. Who the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was Tyler. I did not. Just That's just a chemical, guys. Come on. Her. Okay, it was uh, Zen. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. I'm not double red. bonded. Anyone can make their color red. That's you can change only. your color. That's the look, only look, thing look. that I'm I green now. Look, I'm green, green now. I feel like it was probably Tyler uh, hey. on the authority that I said so. Hey, Tyler, <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> guess what? Guess what? Guess what? It's poopy butt green now, or poopy butt brown now, right? Oh my god. Anyways. Fuck. That just reminds me of the, I have to also edit this one, but. Yeah, so. Uh, I hate everything, 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 I Oh my god. He just sees us yelling. He's like, what the fuck are these? He's just doing? a slow ass bitch. Holy, holy shit. shit. He's almost but like Michael in that regard. Next time we're going to cast on the, the, the Feywild, he's going to no comment and we're going to be insulting <laughs> because him. He's going to pick up Kalak and like, just wow. throw him through the portal. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> okay. Fix the other one. We are good to go. So, yeah. Right. Demon. 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 Is that a demon? Yeah, yeah that's a demon. demon. He's gone. There it is. He'll make his way to the center. He will make his way forward. Pico is going to be keeping pace with him. Mm. Keep pace with him, Nero. Alright. Before Kalak goes in the portal, Pico is going <laughs> to. Pico's just going to say. It has. Um... Oh, okay. Well, it, it, it is. Um. Uh, you can go home now. I yeah. see. Uh, thank you. See. It had I didn't, didn't realize Spanish. they. Yeah, I didn't realize they spoke no, Spanish. He said. He said. I see. Oh. Oh. The we I only heard dropped. see. No, I heard I see. Oh, I, I heard I see. see. It, um, see. it has. It is. Go home now. Yeah. It turn, turns out. Turns out. Uh. Turns out. Sylvan is just Spanish. <laughs> Yeah, I will. I still can't understand Spanish. I took like ten years of it, so yeah. I will. I took like keep a it in mind, order of it. and I ask them for military assistance from you all. Although it may be better if you all are with me to ask. Boy, boys, we're going to the Fey. Can we get back if we go? He's speaking in Sylvan. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Your mom. Uh, yeah, but he's speaking of Sylvan. Let, you bring up a good point. Can let, we... <laughs> let me, um... Let me ask my, um... Friends first. So... He That's has... That's a reasonable use of the word friend. Uh, he... He... He looks at you all, um, well, he, he, like, like he's, uh, he said he would go back and ask to rally some military support to aid us in this cause. Mm -hmm. Um, he does, in fact, believe that it would be probably better if we were to go with him, you know, probably as a... Uh, proof thing, um, but um, I know we have other priorities on top of that. See, my line of thought here is if we do go and it still falls through, it will have been a waste of our time and we are on a delicate timetable and... 
we could have probably gone, gotten a more affirmative yes from Bianca and Belinda Ryan if we find them. So I extend that now to you all. What the fuck are we going to do? Well, I think either way, I'm okay with I'm okay with either. I think the I think it's. I mean, either both seem both are quite adventurous in the sense of. Well, I understand you all are friends with Valendra and Bianca, but it still seems like a rather risky idea to go to the Underdark for assistance and then go or go to the Feywild. I think they're both in their own ways. Yes. Risky. Mm. The the Drow might not. Uh, be able to provide any assistance. They did say that the oh, realm might... wasn't in the best of states at the time. Oh, we might die. <laughs> this opportunity is right now. It's... We walk through that portal. I think it's. I think we should take it. We should try to get do our best to assure any assistance that we can get. Nero, you're unusually quiet. She's just brooding. Well... Right. <laughs> <laughs> well. She's being a woman. Um... <laughs> I was just thinking that, um... Well, going to the other dark would be in our interest. However, a thought occurred to me of how we would actually get there to begin with. There's no, from what I know, direct passage to the Underdark that we could take. And there's a portal right here to the Feywild. So, while I would like to maybe get some aid from the Underdark, I think our best option uh, would be at least to go to the Feywild and at least try. <laughs> um, Spirit and Aaron, um, I have a question. Yes? So, you two remember when Bianca and Valindra gave us that mountain climbing supplies? Yes. How yes. did they go about it? I was wondering that as well. Uh, Didn't they just teleport it? Yes, it seemed like some sort of teleportation magic. It did, but I'm it's quite powerful, obviously, if they were able to teleport from the Underdark to the material and plane. They knew exactly where we were, so that's my thought process. It's quite possible they have a uh, some sort of court magician that handles that business. I was just wondering if maybe we could try and send it through the other way, or try mm. and get their attention somehow and mediate that or mitigate that. Unless they're actively scrying on us, I'm not sure getting their attention would be particularly easy. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it seems we're all in a vast majority of agreement to go to the Feywild. Yeah, yes. It does seem like the more immediately uh, feasible option. Uh, I'm gonna turn back to Halak. So, upon conferring with my compatriots, we all agree that it would probably be best to go with you to meet with whatever um, uh, council you you seek to speak to. It would be pertinent for us to go. Um, oh my! Yes. And before we all walk in, Vika is going to make like a quick That's quick well, sketch of this like gateway in his his notebook. Quite necessary. Yeah. He, he 
thanks you for coming with him. Uh, you sit down, you make that sketch as quickly as you can while keeping it sort of accurate. And clock steps forward. And steps through. And comes out on the other side. Ah. Uh, well, that's um, interesting. It turns around. Divine sense. That is disappointing. Ah. <laughs> Try going, try going through on your side. Okay. He stepped back there. Well, I guess oh. we should have first seen this. And once again, the god shit in our dinner. I don't really do. I don't they do seem to like that. Well. <laughs> I, I, I do, I do think it's probably retribution for everything I've done, but you know. I... What if, what if one of us were to try to not, not go through, but. Stick an arm through or something, or stick maybe like a. Yeah, does it. Nero, okay, Nero does it. You, you, you like stick an arm through? It's still right in front of your face. Okay. Ah, uh, no, it's here. Uh, perhaps the portal's not activated. Yeah, yes. that's not thinking. Um, like need some sort of energy to power it. Is there any? Is there any kind of writing on yeah, it? Yeah, I was gonna no? about to ask that. Like any sort of sylvan on it or. Not no. that you can see. Uh. It appears to be pretty, pretty plain-faced. You said there was like a hole in the top? Yes, so in the top there is a sort of like... In, in, in like the center of the top there's a sort of like circular uh, like slot uh, that is essentially a hole that goes maybe... maybe like six or seven inches deep. Maybe... Six inches, like roughly six inches in diameter. Perhaps something's supposed to go there. Some sort of magical battery. That would, that would is there something be if, Michael, Michael, can I roll like is it can I roll like Arcana or something to see if I to see if like I have any knowledge of like portals or something that might be like this or sure. Okay, go for it. Uh, my rolls have been shit, so you don't really have to worry. It just occurred to me, I got a nat one earlier and I didn't take the shot, so I'm gonna take the shot now. Yeah, take the shot, boy. Um, that is a... What is that number at the top? Okay, that's an 11. I'm gonna get a Eleven. chaser real quick. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. You have heard of portals requiring power sources before. You are not super familiar with the concept, though. Okay. You haven't done any, anything like that yourself. But... Would Aaron? Whatever is it, probably. Aaron could bolt. Hey. Okay. Also, uh, also Arcana. Arcana. Arcana? Yeah. I thought it was funny that, like, so what, are you, what are you trying to, what are you trying to roll for? 22. Have, like, the sword, uh, just a way, if, if there's a way from, like, me to directly feed my own magic into it. That would also be our kind of, but yeah. Tyler, which one? No, I was going to be a cop, but for a different thing. Was, that's the same. Let me, let me get right. my chaser. Wait, what? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I'm done. What? <laughs> I don't understand. I was saying, I know it's going to be oh. a combo, but for a different thing. Oh. I got a 22, by the way. <laughs> okay, that wasn't, that wasn't bad. I'm understanding what it is you're trying to tell me. It was actually pretty good. Okay, so who got what? I got a 22. <sighs> Alright. So, Aaron. As far as you are concerned, any strong source of magic could power this. Uh, to put it in statistical terms, it requires a certain number of spell slots to be expended in order to, uh, in order to power it. <laughs> That's out of my hands. <laughs> it's also out of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it seems like it requires a certain uh, threshold of magical energy to be poured into it before it will activate. Uh, Spirit, uh, do you, do you think you'd be able to uh, provide the necessary power? I could certainly try. Wait, it's a certain like it's a certain number of spell slots, or is it like certain level of spell slot? You do not know. Don't know? Okay, that's just what you- okay. What I mean, I figure I wouldn't know, but I just didn't know if it was something that was clarifiable. And... 
Where exactly would I do that? Uh, would I know, Michael? Uh, with the twenty-one, yeah. The the slot, the hole. Uh, the hole. That, that indentation up up there. Uh, that seems like the most likely uh, place to expand or power it from. Static demon. Static demon. Gone? Yep. Yep. Can I reach the the in the, the slit the indentation? It's about six feet off the ground. Oh well. How tall is he? Five eleven. Oh well, yeah, you can get there. He's I just can probably reach you. Just on your tippy toes. I've had to put two D twenties in dice jail. I'm on my last D twenty. Well, for him, it's just it's it's here. Okay. Um, I am going to expend. Uh. Uh, second level spell slot. <laughs> All right. So you sort of you place your hands uh, sort of like in front of the slot in the top of the archway, and, and it, you feel that sort of magical energy that you've uh, had inside of you for as long as you can remember, and you begin to essentially just pour it out into the portal. Uh, you feel the energy leave you and go into the portal, and you can tell that it is in there and it has been stored, but... Can I expend charges from my magical stick as a source of magical energy? Interesting. You can try. I will try to expend a charge. A charge. You try to expend a charge. Uh, you, you take out magic stick 2.0. Yes. And, uh, you, you you put it in there and you sort of expend a charge, uh, and it does seem to have an effect. It's small, but it uh, does seem to have an effect. Okay, well the other nine are going in there. All right. Jeez, ten charges. Give me an Arcana roll. Okay. There are ten charges, but they they're they each do something small, and you're able to uh. spend a lot of the time to do. Uh, I think that's a 19 on my Arcana. Let me check real quick. Yeah, 19 on Arcana. After your full one and a second level spell slot, it is halfway full. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Yay. I could I could supply some I could supply some magic if you need. As could I. Well, I suppose I should uh I should give what I can. Uh, nice. Yeah, well. Warlock, you only have like one. <laughs> I'll have you know I have three. Thank you very much. Yes, three. Bad. Sorry, man. He has one more than me, and I'm upset. <laughs> oh, really? You all have far more than I do. Well, I she's also a warlock. She just doesn't have funny upgrade. I am funny, funny upgrade. Michael, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my hand up to the uh, the opening and expend a third level spell slot. Third level spell slot. Okay. Uh, I'll you do so. I'll expend uh, a fourth level. There goes one fireball. Right. And then another fourth level. If it's, Once you expend that one fourth level, uh, the opening in front of you sort of bursts to life as the, oh. as the archway is now overflowing with magic and there is a sort of swirling, like purplish, pinkish mist uh, covering the opening. Hmm. Well, I'd I say that, that looks pretty activated. Agreed. Okay. Up. In we go then, or? I think so. And Nero will step in. Alright, you step in. How do you and... Falk just steps in after. Falk oh. just shrugs and steps in after. Right. And then she steps in all of the guardians. Alright. Step in. You all step into. The lock doesn't step in and it turns the portal off. This was part of my plan. He's just so like my this was part of the oh, plan and uses the magic to charge his swords. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. It turns the portal off. It was fun while it lasted. Yo! Oh, so you all. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Step out. Yo. Yeah. Some of your health might not be might not be perfect, so fix that if if necessary. Yeah, it ain't, but it's fine. 
So, so they put on his work. <gasps> so I loved, I loved him. So help me. <laughs> Matthew, would you like to jump into another call with me very quickly so I can explain a little bit of context for you? Oh, I see him. Oh, I see him. Oh, there, oh, there she oh, is. There she is. There she is. There she is. That's right. Wait, it's a what she? A, oh. What a yeah, last. Another female character. <laughs> what a last. <laughs> I'm not by myself anymore. <laughs> Yeah, now you can fuck this one too, Shaggy Man. Demon. God damn it. Damn you again, you made the same man. damn joke. Oh, <laughs> 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 set. Gone? Yeah, gone. <laughs> now you have another female. <laughs> I, I literally <laughs> made that joke earlier. I said, don't do freaky shit with this one. I fucking god damn it. <laughs> look, you. Look. You took Belgian girl. You you put a you put a you put a knife on your back. <laughs> Belgian in the afterlife. Hey, right hey, now. I didn't take your girl, somehow man. Belgian in the afterlife right now somehow found out about that. And he's staring daggers at you. <laughs> Where the hell God. he's in? Well now, yeah, yeah now because well, Belgian actually knows now. Conversation. Well, I don't know if Belgian actually knows. I might. I don't really know, but probably not. I don't know if he's watching. If he's watching from whatever hell he's in, he might. If whatever he's a lost, he's he has in. no idea who any of you are. So, I Ooh, I don't oh know. I, I hope he's not a lost. That would break my heart. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I like as Daniel. Vika, I don't dude. think I could take that. Daniel or Vika, neither of y'all could take it. Vika would go insane again and have a split personality disorder again. <laughs> No, Vico would just ball his fucking eyes out. I would have the the fucking upset split personality. <laughs> but the, like, the second personality is fucking Belgian. Okay. What about fucking Belgian? No. Something that something that Bianca never did. Anyways. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. After taking so, Bianca, he's also gonna take Belgian. So, <laughs> you oh, are no, oh, no. step out of this portal. Necrophilia. Over in. Over. <laughs> oh, like. Maybe 100 feet away. Uh, sort of behind one of the trees, stepping out, you see. Tippy, would you like to describe your character? Do we, do we see Tippy? Yes! Please tell me yep. we see Tippy. We have to make a perception roll in order to see the one foot frog. Uh, so, um, so, so Tippy is a one foot two inch um, pink female grung. She's six pounds and, um, and, she's, car and she's carrying um, a magical guitar. <gasps> oh, the bard. Damn. I, I, just, guess, I love the idea, I guess that I love the idea of so tiny happy. barbarians. I love yeah, the idea of tiny barbarians. It would have been guitar. amazing if he was like a foot tall. Oh my god, barbarian. Tyler, you missed it earlier when Matthew was making fucking buff Tippy. It was the most horrifying thing. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, you saw. <laughs> that's right, you did see. Well, you saw final form buff Tippy. You didn't see buff Tippy in the process of I think, being created. I think final form buff Tippy isn't bad enough. Oh no. Anyways. Alright. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> you all step out, you are surrounded by, uh... <laughs> you, you all are surrounded by, uh, essentially, a, a nature that is foreign to most of you. Uh, just... The wildlife around you is, uh... Is completely just... All different colors of the rainbow, uh... The ground beneath your feet is almost warm, like through your shoes. Uh, 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 in different places, like uh, here and here, there are large patches of what almost look like giant purple weeds. It's kind of hard to tell from the distance. Uh, but you're in the middle of essentially a forest still. Uh, but there are no seemingly signs of civilization as far as you can see. It's just forest in every direction. Uh, you are in a clearing. Because, like, in awe of how, like, colorful it is. Yeah, like... Oof. Aaron's taking notes. Yeah, and so is, so is Faulkner. Faulkner's, no. like, scribbling as best he can to try to draw a picture of no some of the things he's No amount of can prepare you for something like, as beautiful as this. It's, Indeed. It's incredible. It's oh just blue God. and purple, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it. 
<laughs> I'm ruining my roleplay, Ben! An amazement pops a divine sense, like like similar to this detect good and evil, except the light just pours out of his nose, mouth, and ears too. Back. For six seconds. For six before just retreating back into his head. So what does divine sense do? Oh, it just, <laughs> just tells me where hollowed things are. Where hollowed things are. Within 60 feet. The entire Feywild is desecrated. <laughs> uh, it's dead. Nothing here is hollowed or desecrated. It is simply... Well, uh, oh, actually, no, sorry, I take that back. This whole, like, field, from where you are to pretty much, like, the range of what you see on the map is desecrated. Oh. Everything past that is fine. But I can so, only do it within oh. sixty it only like it's, it's a radius of sixty feet. Okay, then maybe you don't see that, but <laughs> point still stand. <laughs> this whole like this clearing that you are in is desecrated. It it looks beautiful, but there is something a little off. Yeah, <laughs> there is. Well, is that a frog? Isn't there something it's off? Just... No, frogs are quite normal, Nero. True. This is then, very you do not remember my pet frog as a child. <laughs> um, I no, think, um, you did have Vico, that, didn't you? Vico, I think she's more referring to the the frog standing on two legs. Okay, yeah. to be fair, no, I'm I know frog standing on two legs. I don't folk, see the problem here. Yeah, frog. I know you're new, but we've That's seen far issue. fucking weirder than a frog walking on two legs. Well, I haven't, and I I, I move him aside and I walk kind of closer to Tippy to try to like let's not, be not like really close. Theater. But like close enough that I'm gonna be able to get like a walking better look and, and try to draw. Aaron follows and you know, I, is taking notes on the wildlife. I do look at Kalak <laughs> and I, I do look at Kalak and I say in Sylvan. Is, I look at Kalak and I say, is is that normal though? It, it, like is. Uh, yes, it is a local species called a grung. Uh, they usually tend to loot our. Uh, Fucking assholes! Wow. Uh, although I have never seen one with such uh, pigmentation. Let's uh, go speak to him. Okay. Let's saddle up next to Aaron. Yippee, you are being you are being slowly surrounded. <laughs> Yippee! Uh, you 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 peaked your mic. You peaked your mic so hard. <laughs> Tippy. We can't hear you. You you just go Tippy! Tippy! Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Tippy. Oh uh, hello there, Tippy. Don't 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 Oh, that's quite adorable. <laughs> Tip, Tippy, I love her. I love Tippy so much. It's, it's that one meme where it's like He's furiously I've, writing. I, it's that one meme where it's like I've only had this thing for one day, but if anyone were to hurt, I would kill everyone and then myself. Hold up! Hold up. Okay, I want to. I want to pull up a rock to sit on. <laughs> it's just the Meet the Engineer video. Just Garrison. I saw Garrison. problems. Garrison. Practical problems. Garrison, no. give me, draw it, draw, draw it, it. <laughs> draw it, draw it. You're gonna give me a draw. I want to take a draw. long hit on my bubble pipe. Later, later. Bubble pipe? <laughs> bubble <laughs> pipe? Oh my god! I think the most important things to be doing. Michael, I was wrong. This, when Tippy <laughs> does die, I'm gonna. Do it an hour. Nico will commit suicide. <laughs> you guys want to hear the story of how Tippy got trapped forever? No, <laughs> we have permission to be doing people. No, 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 no. Oh yeah. Um. Tippy, would you like to tell us on the way? I know you're not invited. Sure? But the story is more important. <laughs> I think we have a bit of time to spare to listen to Tippy's story. No, the, uh, the fate of the world, to you, my man. My man. <laughs> my man. <laughs> my comrade. It all started. It all started forever ago. He's <laughs> done. He's done. Because like popped a squad and he's like grabbing Aaron's sleeve and he's like, "Come on, Aaron, sit down." Aaron 
is taking taking so many notes on the nature of, of wildlife and culture in this region. It seems to it seems to be it seems to be common uh, among citizens of this of this realm to uh, punctuate sentences with na 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 na. That's a guitar, dumbass. I know you don't get out of the classroom very often, but. The magical oh, guitar. That's not, okay, Tippy's not making that sound with her mouth. That is with no, the guitar. No, no, no. no she's actually there, playing there, the guitar. She has a magical guitar. I have a homemade banjo. It's magical. It's a banjo! I, it's homemade. <laughs> <made. laughs> so it all started forever ago. <laughs> we need to get going now, people. I came over here to check out this cool stone thingy. Brown, now, 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 brown, now, brown, now, demon. Go on, Tippy. <laughs> Demon. demon. And then I tried to leave. No, 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 no. And then I couldn't leave. It is unfortunate. And I've been stuck here ever since. No, 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 no. Well, maybe we can help you get unstuck. You can. Maybe. Don't make. Oh my god. I hate to say it. I Timmy has like a twenty in charisma, right, Matthew? So oh, oh, has a point. Tippy has a 19 in charisma. Mm. Oh, oh my god, that's so much less. <laughs> oh, can, you the person who said, can you roll the persuasion? I was the person See who said what, Ben? Okay, uh, I fucking, I, like, I'm about to pop Jandle to Ben. If you're gonna, if, if you're gonna presence. say about what I said to Kalak, I said that it's Sylvan. Bitch. Not to Kalak, you bitch. <laughs> then to who? To what? Where? <laughs> What? Uh, I think I think while it is interesting, and I do I do want to continue my research in this area, but um, I think I think uh, Spirit does have a point. We should probably get moving to try to find something. Maybe we can take um, <laughs> we really need Tippy Kalak. with us. Yeah, we can take Tippy with us, but we need Kalak to kind of fucking guide us. So we yeah, yeah that's true as well. I mean, oh, is Kalo, why is Kalak still by the portal? So uh, but, I mean, Come on, Michael. Oh, yeah. Michael! oh my god. Jesus. Uh, you have an audience, Tippy. Um, uh, I do not... No I'm, oh, sorry, bro. I am not familiar with this area. Right. Perhaps. He's not uh, familiar with this area. Um, no. No. So we can be in the fair wild and we have to find where he's from. Tippy lead the way. Do you know where we are? Do you know? Sure, I, I'm, I've been here before. I, <laughs> Tippy is familiar with the area outside of this. Outside of this place. <laughs> well, Tippy lead the way. Tippy, do you know where? Do you know where this, this, this thing is from? What's a co op? <laughs> Never seen him before in my life. No, not him, not him specifically. No, 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 people who like him. Yes, people who look like him. What do you mean? Keep in mind, I'm this tall. <laughs> so, keep in mind, I am very small. <laughs> people people who, who have the, like, the same face and arms, yes. the four arms. Like, bug like people. He... Have you seen any other bug people? Yes. Well, I, mean, pretty, I think no, all species I've ne- have four I've arms. Never seen, I've never seen anyone like him. Or have like you. Seen, you. Have you well, seen anyone? <laughs> ever. <laughs> have you ever made contact <laughs> with another person? <laughs> That's a lot. And then there was that other. That was a tree. <laughs> Have oh you never God, seen? I love Tippy so much. <laughs> <laughs> Tippy so You've innocent. never seen anybody. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, Rico, I'm asking. How do you know to speak, Tippy? Tippy just speaks. Tippy is, <laughs> therefore Tippy is. <laughs> Tippy <laughs> thinks, therefore uh, Tippy is. is. <laughs> Sorry. Tippy is, therefore Tippy does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We, we do. We must. We must keep going. Uh, I guess we just. I guess we just pick a direction and just go. Adventurers always go left. No, I have an idea. All right, what is it? Vico, can you ask Kalak if there are any major landmarks in the Feywild that he might be able to point out from a bird's eye view? Um, Kalak, um, my 
friend over there is asking if you know any landmarks that might be tall enough to be seen from and the sky. Uh, yes, there certainly are. Uh, however, I do not know if there will be any nearby. I suppose if I found a way to have such a view, I would well, be able to... go over to my friend Tadriel, and he is going to take you on a ride. Tadriel, take him up in the air. Okay. Okay, bonk. You <laughs> just like Tadriel like gets his arms out, kind of squats down a little bit. He just leans in. Alright, there's, there's an SCP they're called the Moon Champion. Yeah. That just okay, no one asked. Yeah. Jesus Christ. No, I'm just it's just this. It's what? just this. He just walks around asking people to help him fight the moon monsters, and if anyone even sarcastically says yes, he just grabs them and then goes to orbit with them at supersonic speeds. <laughs> Uh, so you just go over and you just grab him and you're like, all right, hold on. You grab him on, like kind of like motion him to like get on my back. Like I kind of like squat a little bit. I I tell down. him I tell him get on his back. Okay. <laughs> uh, he uh, he he goes over and he uh, many armed grabs he grabs each of your arms with an arm and then wraps his other two arms around your waist and he jumps up on your back. Matthew, I would just I would just like to say in the course of two two weeks, you have created two characters two phenomenal characters that I have fallen in love with from like one sentence. And for that I commend you. I can't wait to watch has a question. Die. Yes to be to be has a question. Does anybody have any water? Because I've been here for a few hours and I'm thirsty. Well, you know, sure. actually, I do. I do happen to keep some on me. I pull out my decanter of water. Okay. Power. You fucking need that. Back to your paladin spell, Tyler. I just wanna. I just wanna point this out. Out of character. Grungs have a, a feature where they Poison have to soak in. No, no, no. They oh. have to soak in water for an hour every day, or they take a level of exhaustion. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you just pump it on water. him. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, it is a cleric spell, but not a paladin spell. Of what? Great uh, water. Great water. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, I don't have that, do I? I don't think I have that. No, it's a cleric spell. Yeah, so you, take out, so you take out your decanter of endless water. I do, and I'm going to. I'm going to. Would you? Do you want to drink or. I need to be in it. Be? Um, do you prefer. Fresh water, salt water, is it? I don't know those words. I only know the water I've been in. Okay, fresh water is then. Fresh water is then. Oh, and, uh, Nero, Nero's I'm already gonna... like crashed down in front just... of her, just like, oh, she's so cute. So, <laughs> just, I thought she can't be part of the party. Just, don't just stand, die. Just stand still. Right? I'm gonna I hold know. the, I'm gonna hold the decanter. I know, man. About like a, like about like a, like six inches above Tippy's head, and as I, as I put it there. And I'm just gonna say, stream. <laughs> and just a gallon of water will just trickle out into over your head. So, Tippy, where did you learn to play the the guitar like that? Oh, the the lute, like, the fuck. It's the word a banjo. Is. Well, I know it's, it's banjo, but guitar. I I don't Get I don't know the, the fantasy guitar. word for banjo. 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 It can still be a banjo. <laughs> banjo for banjo. Remember what era you're in, Daniel? I invented it. I made it myself. Oh, you made it yourself. <laughs> As that's, she's that's an astounding feat. How old are you? <laughs> so I mean, I mean, just pulls it out. Three. Three, Three. Three months. Months? Oh. <laughs> Three months. Tiffy's gonna die. <laughs> Literally, baby. So. Literally, baby. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need to know. Literally, <laughs> baby. Oh my god. Holy god. god. Do you know anyone else of your kind? I'm not your dad. by Tippy. Yeah. Is that a sensitive topic? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Grungs live 50 years. It's okay. Grungs live 50 years. It's okay. I just looked it up. I just looked it up. Grungs live 50 years. It's okay. Not Tippy's species. Oh god. Oh 
No! No! You don't want to lose Tippy. <laughs> Tippy's gonna die at the end of the session, Tippy guys. Tippy is so precious to me. I can't lose her. <laughs> oh, Matthew. They have become adults at one year. I'll talk to you after the session. You uh -oh. completely missed that. Uh -oh. You completely <laughs> missed that. So he does love. Yeah. Did you read it like five minutes? <laughs> no, 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 no. Demon, he, demon, he, demon. Ah! Okay. Demon. He, he he misread the article. It's fine. It, it, it doesn't matter. I, I, I homebrewed that whole thing. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, he wants to die. <laughs> <laughs> My God. I did. I did give you the free reign over that. So, Somebody oh, kill me! Oh. Yeah, Mike, Michael. A grunt. A grunt could live that long. Could. Yeah. But not Tippy. <laughs> not Tippy. Tippy yeah, actually reincarnates every time she dies. She's just a phoenix. She's the yeah, only one. Just a phoenix. Yeah. yeah. Going up in the air. Who's in the air right now? We did. We he will be. That's uh, uh, friend Tatriel. Like, about to take off. <laughs> oh. Wings just fucking like that demon rolled out of my back. Big static demon? He's on it. Yeah, static yeah. demon. Ah! He's, just on, on. he's on I your just... back. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm very well aware. He's got a very snug grip gripped onto all of my limbs and wrapped around my waist. Yeah. Enjoy it. Whoa. The things and they just expected. float out of your back. This is the, ah, I see. This is the they're deepest. Like, they're, not like, they're not like physical wings. Suck yeah. it. Yeah, well, you're dead. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, Damn it! So just, just uh, six big, powerful winged appendages uh, fly out. All right. And I just shoot off at sixty feet per round into the sky. All right. So you zoom up into the sky. Oh, Ten feet a second. Uh. Yeah. You 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 flap your way up there. Uh. Give me a perception check. Okay. <laughs> This is something I do have proficiency in. That's 21. Okay, so... As as soon as you start getting up there, Kark says... Well, you can't understand him. He says something. Uh, you look around. Literally, everything as far as the eye can see is oh, forest. Like, literally, nothing. In any direction, it's all trees. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> all right. And you don't speak, so Vince, like you can't ask what he sees. No. You can't ask what he sees. Oh, Demon. Hot Demon's very aggressive today. He really oh, yeah. is. He's they like a demon in the hit video cool. game Phasmophobia. <gasps> But I stay up there for, like, 20 seconds before I just fly back down. Okay. You do so. Um, so, Clark, did you see anything? <sighs> anything of note that, that is? This... Uh, it's... So... many... Trees. Something is. Damn, that's crazy, Tasha, no. but I don't remember asking. <laughs> in character, even. I did. Uh, it is a character. Um, something is not right. It's it's all, it's all the the same. It's all trees. It's all all. It it's the forest seems to extend infinitely. Is Nero here? That, that could like, be. Oh. <laughs> well. She doesn't understand him. But she does, actually. Oh, right. Hey, she Fuck. did pick us up. <laughs> that could be a demon. Ah! Still there. Oh, it's gone. I know how to oh. deal with it. I know how to mitigate my demons. I'm like Nico. <laughs> hey, oh. Uh, he's coming. Damn. Well, he's Skip just becoming head more head. bold. Just like, just like, uh, Vezos. Yeah. Tippy is... thinks whatever's holding um, Tippy here is probably the reason that y'all are only seeing forest. What? Tippy Fair. can't leave. Very insightful, ah. Tippy. I'm um, sorry, but um, what does what does Tippy mean by only forest? <clears throat> well, from what Tadrio said, that I think 
there's apparently oh, only yeah, forest. Only oh, yeah. Tadros said something. It is only forest. There's nothing else. Please to the horizon. Flat. Dude, like Michael, there were no hills, no mountains, like, no anything. Just nothing. Just flat land, flat trees. skyline of trees. Like, even, even like, the normal curvature of the planet was gone. Like, it was just flat trees. Land. There's not oh. even a horizon. Yo, as a flat earth, I respect so, that. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Nero. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> All those books and still no Earth. knowledge. <laughs> oh fuck you! This is Earth after global warming. This is what the liberals were trying to warn us about. <laughs> yeah, more trees. Yeah, more trees. Let's say the sea levels rise five, ten feet in the next fifteen years. People are just gonna sell their houses and move inward. One small problem, Ben. Sell their houses to who? Fucking Aquaman. <laughs> I want to spirit a question. Okay. I want I want to pull on a spoke. Um, excuse me. What do you, What do you think is the reason why I can't leave? I I don't know, Tippy. <laughs> I've never been here before, and I don't do you, understand. Do you think Do you think you could go over there and find out? Over where? <laughs> Just that way. I'm pointing. I'm pointing north. Is there something north? I can't go that way. You should try it. Like, how far can't you go? Like, 20 feet. Okay, <laughs> then I can walk 20 feet. <laughs> I'm, I'm, go I'm gonna walk <laughs> more. Oh my god. Okay, so, you walk. Basically, as soon as you hit, oh, like, relatively this point, you don't even really realize it at some point. You're just like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking north. That simple, right? And you just keep <laughs> walking. And at some point, you sort of just, like, realize you're walking back. No way. <laughs> you find something? And everyone else who, who, like, saw him, he walked up that way, and then he turned around and he came back. Um, anything, Spirit? Anything. Oh my god. <laughs> uh... Was Chippy right? Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, Jesus can't. Wait, we watched Spirit like uh, directly turn around. Now, 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 now. He, he literally now, now, just turned around. Okay, Water. um, I'm gonna go up to Spirit. I'm gonna ask him something. Did you? Why did you turn around? I didn't. I just kept walking north, and I somehow ended up back here. We saw you turn around. And I saw me walking forward. Well, then how are you back here? Oh my god. Is this the weirdest thing? Like, I'll tell you the same thing I told fucking. Is this <laughs> really the <laughs> fucking weirdest Shut thing? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna try something. You have to trust me. It's a little bit of very simple magic. I'm mm. confident that you won't try and curse me. I won't try and curse you. Cast. Try. <laughs> no extra planar force is allowed to control spirit. Possess him, charm him, frighten him, control him. Ooh. What is that hey. called? Sorry. This is protection from evil and good. Okay. Personal so. Activation. What does it literally do again? Okay, let me read the rules. Um, till the spell ends, it's protected against certain types of creatures. Uh, aberrations, celestials, elementals, fake fiends, and undead. Uh, creatures of those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. Target can also be charmed, frightened, possessed uh, by them. If it is charmed, frightened, or possessed by them, it is. it has advantage on any saving throw against the effect. The relevant effect. Alright. A simple spell, but quite unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you cast that on him. This should protect your mind from whatever this is. Um, okay, so you want me to just go back north? Yeah, no, Spirit is just faintly glowing blue now. Uh, no different than normal. Quiet, yes. You can do it, Spirit! You don't even know my name. <laughs> yeah, no, he just said it! <laughs> she, Tippy just like... Overheard. You're now good, Spirit! You don't even know my name. Wait. <laughs> 
I don't even Wait. know who you are. The lizard king. What the fuck? What's your king? 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 Shit. It was an honest effort. You know, it, it was. I noticed something. There was this. This land was desecrated. I noticed that when I came in. Use the bless spell. This is a div, Michael. Michael, I need a demon. Demon. Uh, demon. <laughs> this spell evil and good, both of which cost a lot of fucking <laughs> money. Pass in our fifth no. level spell slots. Mm hmm. Neither of which I have. I see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to approach like the edge of where Spirit was. Just spend okay. one source point, Lamal. <laughs> Shut up. So, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my second use of Divine Sense. All right. So you begin walking up there, and that at this point you would realize, I suppose, I, I sort of spoiled it before uh, because I didn't realize the range. At this point, you realize it's like it's kind of a hard line. Uh, where desecrated ends and normal sea begins. You just see like the explosion of life, the brief explosion of life from all from like Tadriel's face. Turns back around, walks to y'all. Okay. So I think I understand the problem. That, that desecration is... that I originally noted marks where spirit, where marks where we could, where we're trapped. Hmm. <laughs> does it feel? Does it seem like some kind of magic that could be dispelled, or it likely could be? But I mean, I can always I, give it a try. Uh, if you could, that would be be great. All right, Michael. Um, I cast dispel magic at okay. a third level. So. Here's the thing. What are you casting Dispel Magic on? Because Dispel Magic needs a target. A magical effect within range. Yes. But actually, no. Well, yes. yes. So. Well, yes, but actually, no. Yeah, you okay. Be, so. I think, so you need to be con consciously aware of what you you're need, targeting. You, yeah, you need to know... I don't know if that's how it's like literally ruled by default, but it doesn't make sense to me otherwise. It doesn't be. It doesn't make sense to be able to see. Well, okay, I get what you mean. It so, just says it. It says just straight up in the rules. It just says a magical effect within range. Pretty much, for something as big as this, as like just a giant area like this, you need to find the source of it. This like this spell is like fucking perfect. For All right, this. guys, time to kill Tippy. Time to kill it. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Michael, no. they love you. Michael, did that? Did that? Would that have used my spell slot, or would that not have used no, no, my spell no, no, slot? No, no, no. I couldn't find like, target. The way that I'm explaining this is like you would just know this. I would just if I need to find the target. Like, if you can find the source of this effect, oh, okay. Then, then you could probably cast a spell magic and just clear it. Well, the um, the the issue right now with uh, I know that's not exactly how it is normally, but with the issue with trying to clear it with the spell magic right now as I'm, I'm noticing is um, I don't have a specific target or so to speak of. I mean, if we had if we knew the source where this 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 desecration is coming from then we could possibly I could possibly dispel it, but I, I don't know where that would be and I'm not sure I'm not sure what it could be, to be honest. I mean, it could be really anything. It could be the it could be the foliage. It could be the portal, for all we know. Happening. Um, it started happening a few hours before you guys showed up. Did did something in the area change when it started happening? Did you notice like like some kind of like the was it the the portal appear and then it started happening? Did the did something start growing or anything like that? I mean, you're not sure. Like, you got here, and then you tried to leave, and then you were stuck here. Oh. Uh, okay. I think it's a trap. It wasn't anything that you noticed. Okay, I thought you, st <laughs> you phrased it weird. Okay. 
Hmm. Can I use dimensional door and teleport out? <laughs> you can try. <laughs> That's a fourth level of spell slot. <laughs> that is. That is. Don't worry, guys. Tippy will go for help. No, 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 no. And then, no, 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 no. Just and then I dimension heavy door. Yeah, and I de depending on my spell slot. Um, I'm, I'm on a dimensional door 500 feet north. Oh my god. Oh, so then all of us just teleport? Just no, it's, 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 it's a door my size. You I know, but... No, but it's <laughs> so door. I'm just saying if you teleport and you don't come back, we're like, oh, okay, everyone else teleports with you. Because <laughs> everyone, I think everyone here can teleport besides... I can't. Yeah, besides uh, spirit. Uh, Door. If we had an hour, I'd give Spirit the boost oh, to attune to, but we don't have an hour. Tippy, give me a perception check. <laughs> You're 500 feet in the air above where you <laughs> just were. <No! laughs> uh, perception? Yeah, deception. Uh, perception, I mean. Alright, uh, 17 plus 8. Oh my god. Oh, uh, yeah. Plus 8, damn. That's a high perception. Oh, Expertise so, Gilbert. Um Okay. Oh yeah, bardic things. things. <laughs> yeah, bardic things. You open <laughs> your wall. You open your portal. Uh and you look through it. And you see <laughs> open it and you like before you even step through, you see yourself Adios. from behind. Oh my god. You see <laughs> you look behind you. <laughs> You, you turn around, and you see like the other end of your portal, uh, just with you waving. on the other side of it, looking behind. Mm. Waving myself. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> the other you is is waving behind them. I'm about to, I'll just close the door. All right. Well, can I go through? You can go through. Oh, I'm going through. You go through and you step out about here. Huh. Well, I guess well, that didn't work. No. I love the little. I love the little thing he does whenever. When, 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 when he does whenever. Uh, Michael, I would like to go over and inspect the these plants thing. So as you get closer, the, these the bussy plants. Yeah. Like I mean, just look at the center. Can you shut the the up for a second? <laughs> thank, you, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> the center of those plants look like a tight <laughs> God damn it. No, no. Oh my god. Stuck here forever. The portal closes. Campaign ends because you're stuck here. Can I kind of like, I, I slightly disagree with you. Kind of disagree with you there, Tyler. Okay, so as you approach them, no, as you get within that. like 10 feet of them, give me a perception check. <sighs> okay, that is going to be a, I, think, I believe, a 16. 16. Uh, yeah. yes. As you get closer to them, uh, you notice that they are moving. It's a little bit. Like, like, swaying? Like, growing? No, like, like, curling up on themselves and, like, moving around. Like, like a, it, like a, like a plant monster? Oh, uh, for the sake of it just being easier to explain, think of a plant monster. Okay, got it. Except, um, oh yeah, no, double jump ahead. you know, think of a plant monster if it makes it easier for you. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, we will think of a plant monster. I just want these. These, these look rather strange. I'm gonna use my, uh, my, my, uh, minor conjuration ability. Okay. And I'm gonna just basically like just create like a little like I guess create like a stone in my hand and just kind of okay. throw it towards them. All right, you uh you toss it towards them, and as it gets uh sort of within their within like range of them. Uh, it gets over one of them, and immediately all of the leaves that are fanned out in this, on this like very large, almost fern-like plant, just all snap shut above, and and curl the stone down, and it just like 
the whole thing curls up into one like sort of mass of leaves. Um, um, Vico, can you can you ask um, uh, can you ask Kalak if you've seen if he's seen a species like this before? Um, sure. Um, Kalak. Oh, uh, these plants that Faulkner is over by. Uh, these familiar to you? Or is this a normal occurrence? Or, uh... I. I have not seen this particular species myself before, but. Uh, I do know that there are several forms of wildlife within our plane that are quite violent. So it is not too terribly surprising to me. Hmm. Um. I basically tell Falk near that, yeah. Okay, it's good to know, just they seem... I mean, compared to the, the rest of the area, they just kind of seem out of place. That's my only concern. It, it begins to unfold, and uh, you see the center is still back to just this sort of form, like condensed bud. Uh, oh. You can only assume it's around the stone that you toss in there, uh, and the outside leaves are back to just fanned out and slowly just like curling up on themselves and just keeping themselves uh, fluid. Yeah, I'm not going any closer to those things. Um, it's for the best. We'll, we'll if if they, I'll just melt them with acid if they happen to be what we need to get rid of. Um, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Yes, that's a very effective solution. I mean, I would rather not destroy the ecosystem if we don't have to, but... Uh, if necessary, I have no qualms destroying these things. Well, um... I mean, the only other thing around here that looks like it could be... what's causing this issue, besides us, would be the portal. So, Quite I possible. don't know. Is there anything written on this portal, Michael? No, not that you can see. Okay. Mm. Michael, what happens if I stick my hand through the portal? Stick your hand through? It's not there. Okay. So, well, the portal's still connected at least. So, we know that, but that might be <laughs> that might be the gone. reason. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your hand is you are now an amputee. <laughs> ah. Well, Tippy said that this started two hours before we arrived. Yes. Well, I understand. Start the demon. Start the demon. Majority. I wanna. I wanna. I mean, I can't say something because it would be metagaming because Michael said it, but it was. It was there before Tippy was there too. Like Tippy, as soon as Tippy got there, Tippy yeah, was in the. That's when I got trapped. When he got trapped was a couple hours before. We don't know that because of how he phrased it. No, no, but no, no, no. so, what are you insisting we do with the portal then? Uh, I'm not saying it could necessarily be the portal. I mean, it's an option. The, see, the only two options, from what I can tell, that seem different about this area, or at least seem special in this area, would be the portal and those those purple plants over there. They just stand out a bit. So, I mean, it just seems like those would be the options. Unless there's something invisible around, and if we had a bit of time, I could probably go look through my spell book. I'm pretty sure I have a spell for finding invisible things, but it would take a while. I, Michael, uh, out of curiosity, I think I have uh, Eldritch... Eldritch Sight or Devil Sight. Uh, does that show anything? Ooh, actually... I've got, like, everything. Give me a perception roll. Okay. They see everything now. Uh, 13. Okay, you, I mean, you haven't noticed anything, at least since you've got here. Uh, can I roll investigation instead, since I'm actively looking around? Sure. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. Sorry, the way I, the, the way I'm acting is like, oh yes, there is something here. Um, mm. there. I mean, you're you're searching around for something that will be invisible, and you do not see anything out around that is invisible. 
Okay. Do I notice, like, anything else off about... I don't know, the plants you, Okay, so... The area. The most that you get is... Something... <sighs> you feel like you're being watched, but you can't quite pin it down. That is a big demon. Is that a demon! It's very aggressive tonight. He's very you know aggressive. what we have to do. <laughs> I know. Tippy oh, wants to roll a stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where is Tippy hiding? Why does Ben look so fed up with everyone's shit? Amongst the tree. I'm always fed up with everyone's shit. I'm gonna yeah, hide amongst the point. tree. Alright, roll stealth. Um, 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 Mogus? Mogus? A mongus? 18. I mean, I know. 13. 13? I don't know. 13. Right. 13. So, Tippy, Tippy, Tippy knows what she must do. Tippy climbs up this tree and then hides behind the trunk. She knows what she must do. Her I don't hand see is sticking out, though. I don't see her. Yeah, I don't see her either. I don't either. She's higher than my basket. Yeah, same. And you know what? Spirit's glad. Uh, oh, Spirit immediately is just like, that. man, fuck that bitch, Tippy. Like, why? <laughs> what? Wait, Michael, now I want to leap out. Now you want to leap out? You want to leap out stealth. Leap out stealth. Leap out stealth. Leap out stealth. Just, you right, get just three just, billion just as a, advantage. You jump out just, towards the, like, towards the direction that you couldn't leave. And... People rarely you look up. Fly, you come flying back in and just into the tree. Damn. Uh, I catch the tree. You guys. Give me an X save. No! Tippy! Tippy fucking dies. The session Tippy, Tippy gets introduced, Tippy fucking dies. Oh, I do have a plus six check save. Jeez. 17 plus six. Alright, yeah, you're fine. Oh, these rolls. Tippy jumps up <laughs> and then manages to see the tree coming and just catches herself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Static, Static demon. Static demon! Static demon, go away! Tippy wasn't expecting this. <laughs> <laughs> This was unforeseen to Tippy. <laughs> Maybe. Like, while y'all look, I'm going to. While, while you look, I'm going to prepare something else. Maybe there's some way that we can detect magic. Um, yeah, I'm rich. And see if this. Right <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Velger. Uh, I mean, yeah, sorry, sorry. Ooh. Falconer doesn't have that. Velger. Yeah, Falconer sorry, doesn't Tom's have that. Real. Real. I don't have any spell. Real. All right, so Tadriel casts Detect Magic. Ritually. Ritually, all right. I remember when I used to be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Grandpa. Before the dark times. Detect Magic. Before the Empire. There is something inside of these plants, specifically inside of this one. Okay. That one? That is, that is releasing immense amounts of Conjuration Magic. Okay. So, well, you are very right about these plants. Uh, this one has something that is releasing, it like, has, like, a lot of magic in it. A lot of conjuration, far more than it should. All right, well, that's good to know. Um, I think we should just, I think we just need to get it out, possibly. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cantrip cast create bonfire on that plant specifically. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Say so we get to the, for the item. Okay, so the item burns and the spell's gone too. So we well, <laughs> should at least be careful <laughs> with, with dangerous you magic items that could trap. Bonfire! Bonfire! Create bonfire! Um, <laughs> plant bursts into flames as well as the ones immediately next to it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the grass on the ground. Oh no! After 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 I noticed that the that the big one's dead, I used geyser out of my uh, my decanter <laughs> in this water and put out the right. fire. You, put, you, you immediately put out the water before you start a forest fire in the fay. Yes. Um, dude, dude, Smokey the Bear taught us well. Oh, he did. It is now a charred crisp. Uh, the bud in the center has sort of cracked off and is now on its side in the center of it. Uh, all right, Tajo. Um, do you think you could grab that? I really don't like these things. I don't know. I'll happily do it. Is this where the magic is coming from? The bud? I don't know why. Uh, I can't. Is the yeah. is the bud yes. where it's made? Okay. 
Did Sorry, I, I didn't realize. No. Brain didn't no. process. Apologies. I pick it up. Michael is a bit slow in the mind. It's not it. I'm kidding. Uh, uh, you, I, I drag it over to Falk. I like pick it up. I like, carry it over to Falk here. All right. I'm gonna cut this open. I take my my. I take a dagger out and just like slice it. <laughs> All right, uh, the outer layer of it just crumbles. It's dust at this point. Uh, but the inner layers are still pretty well protected, protected. And when you get to the center, you find... Uh, you find what appears to be a boomerang. A boomerang! Boomerang! Oh my god, it's Damien's boomerang! You find a wooden boomerang with arcane sigils scribbled across its face. Can I attempt to read the arcane sigils? You can attempt to read the arcane sigils. Arcana, right? Yep. Ooh, that is... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, that is a 21. So, this boomerang, oh uh, essentially, it, like, from what you're able to gather, okay, this is the source of our problem. It is essentially cast, uh, creating a large, like, sort of curse on this whole area that causes anything that leaves to just come back. Ah, uh, theming. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah this, this definitely, this definitely does seem like uh, the issue. Um. So. I guess I will try to get rid of it. I'm gonna uh, cast Dispel Magic on it. All right, you ah. cast Dispel Magic on it. What does your Dispel Magic look like for this particular instance? Um, so the the boomerang is something I could hold in my hands, right? Yep. Okay, it's not like humongous. That's what I was wondering. Uh, so Faulkner takes the boomerang, kind of holds it in his hands, and as he starts, um, as he starts to mutter the words for the spell under his breath. Uh, magic starts to seep out from his hands and surround the object and it kind of forms like a bubble around it and it floats it between his hands so he does the the somatics with it like floating in a bubble between his hands and then at the end he like slowly presses the bubble on and tries to like cr break the magic with that all right so you begin it begins sort of floating between his hands uh there is very quickly as it is floating in this sort of bubble uh this like sort of purplish blackish like smoke begins pouring out of the the boomerang within the bubble uh it seems to fill up uh the bubble and it very nearly uh, it uh it very nearly seems to overwhelm him but he, he compresses it down and he manages to sort of separate the magic from the object and crush it away uh, and it is now just a boomerang, uh, with sigils on it. Yeah, Falgar's gonna pocket the boomerang. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bag of holding now, I'm gonna pocket everything. <laughs> yes. As one should. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Um, and does, does what we can see look, like, can we see just from on the ground, can we see anything but trees, or is it just still dense forest around us? All perception. Okay. Oh, that's a nat 19, plus 120. Alright. It, it still looks like forest around you, but it does... Something you didn't realize before is that it seemed like the trees were repeating almost, but now that you look at it, it seems that it's changed at the very least. Whatever's out there. Well, it looks like at least the magic's off the boomerang, and from what it looks like, everything's we're free now. Um, Tadrio, perchance, can you uh, fly clock back up into the sky, or I can only fly once a day. I'm not, I can't fly anymore for this. Right. Okay. Then. Um. Vico, other other option. Vico, can you ask uh, Kalak what kind of landmark he might have been looking for when Tadrio carried him the first time? Um, sure. Um, so Kalak, what 
What kind of landmarks were you looking for when Tadrill um, took you up in the sky? Well, there are a few. There are particular trees, uh, like larger trees. Uh, there are some civilizations that I could uh, base our location off of, but uh, you know, they're all sort of individual. It really depends on where we are. I may not even know them even now. Oh, um, Tippy wants to try something. Um, okay, I want to. I want to climb the tree. Okay. And, um, I want to yell. How do you say his name? Kalal? Kalak? Kalak. 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 Kalak, come over here. Yeah, he just hears his name, but he, he doesn't understand common. So, so Tippy <laughs> doesn't speak Sylvan? <laughs> she. <laughs> How can the Feywild yeah, without doing a lick of Sylvan? Tippy speaks common and grung. Uh huh. Grung. Stuck in the fair while without a, knowing a lick of silver. That sucks. It was fine when. Never mind. Uh, so I'm gonna tell Kalak, like. Um, Tippy wants your attention. Ah, uh, I see. And he'll, he'll go. Over there. Yeah. How, how tall is the tree? The tree's like 15 feet tall. 15? That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not okay, bad. I want. I want to I want to use my magical um, banjo to you, to cast levitate on on your boy. Okay, okay, easier than my options. Good. And he can go twenty feet higher than I am. Oh. Ooh. So. Oh, that's smart. Holy yeah. shit. She. Tip. Tippy. So, tippy got that going on, you know. So Thirty-five feet in the air. Clock begins floating. <laughs> You're even playing playing. The clock just starts going up. Oh. It's like, what, 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 what? Tail steam, <laughs> please. Dan! Still is here! <laughs> um, um, what is, what is happening? <laughs> Your boy's looking at stuff, right? Um, yeah. I guess oh. Tippy wants you to see landmarks. <laughs> Oh, okay. Michael didn't think of it. <laughs> Michael was like, I, I don't get it. I didn't even process that. Holy oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, he's up there. He looks around. And he, he gets up there and he looks around. Okay. He, he can't really talk to Tippy because language gap. Language Can he, like, I'll, yell I'll, it down I'll, to I'll, me? It's only 35 feet. I mean... Well, it's not a physical gap; it's well, a language gap. Yeah. Well, no, I know. Uh, I mean, like, right. I meant, like for the yeah, oh, for, for the, the yeah. I suppose, yeah. Sorry, my brain is a little off at the moment. Uh, you can do it for ten minutes if he wants. <laughs> calls down to Vico and says, uh, "I think I may know where we are." Perfect. He know. He thinks he knows where we are. That's very good. Better than we do. Solo. Thank you so much, Tippy. <laughs> <laughs> hip hip for Tippy. <laughs> hip hip for Tippy. <laughs> hip hip. Tippy gets Tippy gets her own room in the tower tonight. I think. Dude, <laughs> the tower. What a lad. <laughs> oh my God, so you, you let you let Kalak down. Every no, Kalak never gets to leave. Face by face. Do I do I know Spirit's name? Nope. You've never asked. <laughs> I'm gonna tug on his coat again. Yes, Tippy. Did you think that was awesome? That was awesome, right? It was certainly some impressive magic. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, uh, I step demon. demon. Start a demon. Yeah, Tippy. Tippy sees spirit as like uh, he's cloaked, so he looks. Like, like, he looks powerful. Is it still going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's still oh. going. Well, it's gone. Stop. Okay. Uh, I mean, it, it is a it is a raggedy traveler's cloak. Your shoes raggedy. Better. Cool. <laughs> I think it's I think it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Your bitch is raggedy. Evan, you should see my hat that I'm never gonna wear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the hat that he took off. Uh, the drippy hat. The drippy hat's gone. Unfortunate. The drip hat shall never be worn again by Reduce, spirit. Reduced to atoms. <laughs> No, he has a sense of style. 
Yeah, you see, Spirit has what we call standards. I want to ask um, Spirit if I can climb up on his on, on his shoulder. You can. Uh... I'm gonna be persuaded. I'm gonna Are you gonna say no? We're gonna make we're gonna make spirit love again. Oh right there. Spirit shall know love. As long as you don't do anything bad, yes, fine. <laughs> just just Dio, Dio walks up the <laughs> Excuse me. Um someone could someone carry these for me? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just holding out rations. Yeah, I'll carry them. I can't be encumbered. I need someone to carry some stuff for me. Yeah, I'll carry them. Thank you. Yeah, five yeah. rations to your inventory. That five rations? Easy yeah. enough. Yeah, Tippy weighs six, weighs six pounds. But what about all the stuff that Tippy has? Oh, wait, or is that. Sorry. That's Tippy not only here, has a banjo. Right? Tippy no, only no. has a banjo with her right now? I only have my magic banjo on me. Yeah. I can, I can now carry Tippy. <laughs> I'm sick of Tippy no, now rides on your right, shoulder. Sir. I'm I was a little bit moist. It was a three pounds under encumbrance. <laughs> we actually doing encumbrance? Yes. yes. <laughs> You're in the back of holding. It's fine. Yeah, I know, but I, I also don't <laughs> need to check my encumbrances. Also, keep track of what is in the bag of holding because I didn't realize this until recently when I read the actual entry on bag of holding. If you go over the weight limit of 500 pounds, it just deletes everything inside of it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You already reached the limit. <laughs> well, luckily, all we had in there before was water and water can't Reduce just that. delete water. Yeah. Wait, are we doing... Well, this is a different bag of holding. Are we doing... Are I know. we doing... Uh, are we doing variant encumbrance or just encumbrance? Regular encumbrance. Regular encumbrance? Okay. I prefer sure. variant encumbrance, but I know that everyone would kill themselves, so... <laughs> Not okay. everyone. But, um, Not everyone. People, people, would. people who are named something like I don't know, Nero. Or, uh... I yeah, that's about it. Caring a lot. It's because variant encumbrance makes a bit more sense, but it's also going. So, to... so normal encumbrance is fifteen times. Fifteen, fifteen times strength score. Yeah, fifteen times strength score, and then if okay. you are tiny size, such as Tippy. I mean, you, like, you even if it was, half, or if you're yeah. large, you double If it was varying encumbrance, I'd still be fine. I wouldn't. I couldn't carry my starting gear. <laughs> yeah, I could. I'm, Wait, I'm like, people, people keep forgetting I'm pretty strong, but... Yeah, like, I'm the strongest keep... member in the party. Yeah, you're the strongest. I'm, I'm probably the second strongest. Like the fact that Tippy can carry, like, 67 pounds worth of shit and be fine... <laughs> Six pounds. You weigh six pounds. You wet, carry six more pounds than wet. more than ten times your body weight. You don't like square. And be completely Five hundred pounds. Oh, whoa! That's a total. That's a... But yeah, so Tippy is now on Spirit's shoulders. Uh, and I put him in my bag. I'm already fed up with it. I put him in my bag. It's like he just he's, uh, there's a question uh, mark and you're like god damn it grabs no. him puts shoves him inside. <laughs> I put him I just put him on top of it. And like, <laughs> oh my god, you're oh my god, you're Akira. <laughs> you're gonna stay in here now. I think yes, I'm sir. fine on my character. What's your name by the way? Uh, it's Spirit. For now. Hi, Spirit. I'm I'm oh. Tippy. All right. Hello, Tippy. <laughs> The co op says, I believe we should go this way. Well, lead the way. He steps over here and he steps over the threshold. And you all begin walking off into the forest, and it is midnight for our friends uh, further east, so that is where we are going to end the session. Yeah! yeah. Here we go in the Timmy! <laughs> And Tippy has showed up. The only finally. thing that matters in Hopefully. life is Hopefully. Tippy. And just like, I hate, I'm suffering. The oh, spirit is treating Tippy misery. the exact opposite of how, how, uh, how, how Shore is treating Dag. <laughs> no, no, Tippy, no, spirit's treating Tippy the same way that Winter's treating Dag. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. but I was trying to well, put it in terms no, of bad. No. No, no, I was trying to turn it know. in terms of Spirit, bad. Spirit is not afraid of Tippy in any way. 
Oh wait, Winter's afraid of that. Oh. Winter is Dag not. Okay, you gotta factor in. Winter, it. Winter does not want to be friends with Dag. The only reason oh, he's putting up with that is because he watched him bisect people. <laughs> he, it is literally a mice and men situation where if he pets Winter too hard, he could just break Winter's neck. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hop out. Okay, Bye. Michael, Bye. outro. All right. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll see how the party's adventures in the Feywild go uh, next time on Peaceful Heart. Lamau. Uh.